Hey folks, Brian Blessing in Las Vegas, about to do Sportsbook Radio, but before we do that, got to do something for you right here at VegasInsider.com. First look ahead to the Rocket Mortgage Classic Detroit Golf Club this week stop on the PGA Tour. Dustin Johnson, let's give a tip of the hat here to this guy. He keeps his streak alive of winning virtually every year on tour. It's a remarkable streak, and it was his putting that got the job done. But boy, oh boy, if you were backing him last week, you had to be pulling your hair out. Gets a three-shot lead after Brendan Todd implodes, hits an OB, then he hits one that should have gone in the water. Then on 16, just hit the middle of the green and get out of there, and he goes flag hunting, takes a bogey, but he finds a way to gut it out and get the win. Uh, but it, there's been great drama the first three weeks since the return here to the PGA Tour. This is an interesting event. Now, the prices that are out there, DeChambeau's 13-2, to Webb Simpson 12-1, to Patrick Reed 16-1. to DeChambeau's playing great. Frustrated putts, lipping out. He's in contention all the time, but he's got to kick the door down. Ty Hatton was 60 to 1 a couple of weeks ago. He's 16 to 1 now. Not the way to play the game. Matsuyama, question marks. Victor Hovland played good this past weekend, but 20 to 1 is way too low. I think the breaks hurt Sun JM more than any other player. Uh, Ricky Fowler's here, 33 to 1. Tony Finau, 33 to 1. Neither of these guys, uh, unfortunately, just knows how to win. Uh, but I think there's some price plays here and some overlays. And again, I think some flawed numbers. What I saw this past weekend, there are two guys that stick out like a sore thumb. My top pick is Kevin Na. On the board at 40-1. to 1. The first week, he hurt his knee picking up one of his kids and then comes back healthy this week, plays great, and he poured a birdie in on 18, uh, made it probably a couple hundred thousand dollar putt, but he played really well tee to green. So I think Kevin Na is an absolute overlay at 40-1. to 1. The one that's nuts to me is Brendan Todd, two wins earlier in the year, was going toe-to-toe with Dustin Johnson, and has one bad break and one horrific hole. Well, he shanked it from just hole, uh, hole high, uh, off the green, bad decision on the chip up, takes a triple, four holes from the clubhouse. Other than that, the guy couldn't miss a fairway, and he's 80-1, to one, and he won twice earlier in the year. How's he 80-1? to one? So I, I think if he puts it behind him, I think Brendan Todd contends again. The other guy I thought played really well on the weekend was Patton Kazire, 175 to 1. There are 40 guys ahead of him on the odds board. I'd play Kazire straight up uh, with him against them in a matchup. Ridiculous overlaid price. Another guy played well this past weekend was Stallings. Eh, he's over 100 to 1, but I trust Kazire more than Stallings. A couple of uh, guys under the radar. Uh, Van Royen comes back off the shelf, was really, really good in the WGC Mexico event. He's got game. And the other guy's Alex Noren flying under the radar at 66 to 1. He's a guy capable of getting a hot hand in a birdie machine. And you know, a great pick we had last year with a guy that was a couple hundred to 1. Now he's 100 to 1 this week is Brian Stewart. He's literally from Michigan. It's his backyard. Last year we played him because he had crowd support, fans, friends, family. Well, no fans here, but he knows the course was top five last year. Played good this past weekend. Shooting 65, 67, 68, 68. Brian Stewart, 100 to 1, going back to his own backyard is a nice sneaky play where, believe me, home cooking, home course knowledge can help. Yeah, no fans yet, but Brian Stewart, a guy maybe you take a peek at. But I, to me, it's all about Kevin Na, uh, Brendan Todd, Patrick Kazire, guys that played well this past weekend and looking to kick the door down this week in Detroit. It's always a treat to be with you from Las Vegas. I'm Brian Blessing for VegasInsider.com.